Welcome back to Being Thief. So we just got unexpectedly into the um, police station again. And uh, I'm wondering, do I just jump in the water? Is the jumping in the water the best thing to do? I don't know, I have a memory of noting down, we, we took Lady Delph's uh, thing. That's why. Let's go, let's go back. We got the Genesis key just now, right? Um, and I guess the janitor was next to Mr. Teller's house. Is this side, I think? No. Yes. Library, where are we? Library, right, library. Head a little south from here, yeah. Tell the janitor's key. Right, that's this one, I think. Oh, hello. Does the janitor keep their key card down here? Ah, oh, this is the room we saw into before. The window from the sewers, yeah. What's what we got here? I know, some junk. Various things we don't need. Rats in the city have become more problematic, and there seems to be no effective solution. They are now immune to any rat poisons. They seem to get fatter on us instead. Since using the reagents, they have multiplied. Therefore, I have created a new problem, a new solution to the problem. Stunning. If this solution works, we'll be able to stun them, and then we can kill them. Unfortunately, this solution requires a stunning gas, which is a forbidden weapon in the city. The Hammerites consider this gas inhumane, whilst the mechanists have seen a new use for it. As a result, it is no longer openly available for purchase. However, some sources suggest the gas can be bought on the black market. Mm, I can light it, but I can't unlight it. Oh, right, more healing potions. Cool, and the janitor said keycard. Message the janitor. Sir, I've left the requested items in the bank safe. These weapons are dangerous, and although I know you only need the gas inside them, treat them with great caution as it's poisonous. Perhaps if you enlighten me as to what the gas is for, I might find a way of obtaining the raw material rather than smuggling weapons. If we are discovered by the police or hammerites, it will be the end for us. With respect, Smiz. Thanks, Smiz. Oh, did that message disappear on me? It did. Hmm. Alright, well that light there is not going to be a threat, so I'm not too bothered by it. By accidentally leaving it on. Okay, so that's the janitor's keycard and another one. And that suggests uh, that we've got. Only two left, right? That's, that should give us some. gas errors, maybe? What's Mr. Teller's? Hmm, what's the other side of Mr. Teller's house? I haven't been to the other side, right? It's the north, this is the, uh, the north side. Let's go to the south side, which is the other side of the museum. The door doesn't open. Hello? Nothing here. I guess it's nothing now. And we also have not properly been to the library. Now, oh, where, where am I? Oh. That's... Let's go around. Definitely, uh, you know, having all these guards cleaned off the streets makes it much easier getting about. So much easier. Oh, hang on. Bank. Oh, no, this, this is the alley here. I was getting confused. We're in the wrong one before. So this is Mr. Teller's house. Can we put a rope in this window? We can. We need to be careful of this guard, I think. Uh, 
It doesn't seem to be coming this far. Aha. Uh -huh. When it does open. <laughs> and that gives us access to Mr. Teller's house, finally. Now that to be quiet and empty in here. Hello? Library key. Settle, I'm going away for a couple of days, so you're in charge whilst I'm gone. If necessary, you may give the gear key to Mr. Karras, Master Karras, but no one else. You'll find it in the safe below. And don't forget the bed, Mr. Teller. Aha, so he's not at home, only the servants are at home. We know Tittel from being thief too, she's having a shower. All right, let's not disturb her. Safe with a gear key. Oh, this window opens as well. Hmm, maybe I need the key. No, that's not there. I can't hear the window because we're rushing, so I don't know if it's actually picking the lock or not. Probably not. Ah, banker's house key. Nope, it doesn't open the window. It does open the front door. The safe below, huh? So that window is weird to me. It doesn't rob, but maybe that's just an accident. I don't know. The safe that I'm missing. Can't really see what I'm doing in here. Let's turn the light back on. Do we have a switch concealing this safe? Hidden around his desk somehow. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's valuable. I'll take it. And is there some strange person in this town that collects... Uh, Pencil holders? Pretty odd. Maybe the safe is in the bedroom? What does it actually say about the safe? Gear key is in the safe below. Don't forget the bed. Oh! Hang on, there is a... Uh, he does have another door, right, that was locked under his house. I think. May not find the safe. Hmm. I'm not sure. How am I doing for a moss? You know, we don't need to use one here. Right, the safe is going to be down here, isn't it? library key isn't going to do it. All right, let's, uh, let's get back around to the bank. Maybe he keeps the safe key in, well, well, actually, while we're here, why don't we use the library key? Maybe next time. Mm, something there. Imagining things now. What's that? I don't know. Looks like it's nothing. <laughs> it was me accidentally getting caught where I didn't want to be. <sighs> this is where the library key works. Hmm. I mean, having some lights on is nice and all, but... 
Well, there's no guards in here, right? I, I am, a... am a wall builder. This isn't the place to be reading poetry. I'm quite right, Jack. Quite right. Hold on. There's a ledge up around the edge of this place. Is there, is there anything on it? There is indeed. Look at that. Nine thousand out of twelve thousand. Okay, maybe I'm not too worried about that loot goal then. I mean, it's still an opportunity for us to fail it, but this is a little awkward. <laughs> Just a really thin railing. I guess another repair we might be leaving behind, I'm not sure. Banners. Well, a webbed up doorway. What did we want with the library anyway? Was there a reason for us to be here? There's a note about the library now being bought by Mr. Teller, but... Uh... Is there any other notes about the library? Nothing written down, right? How odd. That door doesn't open, and that's the only door here. Perhaps there is a book disguised as a lever that we need to read. Or perhaps there's other loot hidden on the shelves, you know. One never really knows. Or maybe it's just an abandoned library and that piece of loot we found was the only loot here? I mean... A bit disappointing if so, but also quite possible, right? Hmm. Strange. I mean, it's not really strange that there are whoops. <sighs> that was lucky. Uh, that there are places without loot, you know, that's just kind of, well. I mean, from a level design perspective, it feels strange. There's this library that was hard to access. We had to go elsewhere to find the key for it. And there seems to be nothing here. And in terms of notes, we've only got the instructions, right? Any other notes we may have had... Do not talk about the library. Maybe you should be reading the poetry, Garrett. Alright, let's, uh... Warehouse. We haven't been to the warehouse yet. <laughs> I assume we can pick that lock, but we don't really have much of a window of opportunity, right? Unless we kill this guard. I can't really get round until they're right here, and then we've only got like three seconds. We won't even get to the door. I think they're gonna sleep.
Oh, it's not locked. So we might have had time to just run in and sneak in. Okay, I should have paid, I should have looked up and paid a little more attention to the door handle. Full tray of lettuces and I can't eat a single one. Alright. Guess we need to lift. Three floors here. Oh, I see. This is kind of a half floor. Not really a floor. And the keys says lights. This is lights, which, you know. All well and good. More, f more food. But food isn't really what we need. Is that all there is in this warehouse? It's food. Looks like nothing under the elevator. I guess that's these upper shelves. <laughs> Which has nothing either. That's the street out there. The warehouse entrance door, maybe? Hmm, not certain. Anything under here? No. Odd. So we don't have the warehouse key. Been into it. I don't know where the key is then. <laughs> unless, unless God had it, but I don't think so. Nah. All right. Well, I mean, I guess I can cross it off. It's still locked. Yeah, that's that door there. I guess the question is, have I been down there? I don't remember. <laughs> hmm. Wonder what that noise was. One shot. Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh, well. One more slow, slow fall. Hello, I see another uh, brick. Hmm. Who's noising about then? Where are we here? This is uh, up here in the corner, right? Here that's uh, weirdly untextured. Hmm. 
Hm. Oh, that's what doesn't open. Does this go into the mechanist area? I don't know, this is somewhere I haven't been before. New objectives. Um, you obtain information about the mechanist's activity. Right, find a way to Always the do gooders. So, this is the way into the library. Well, we've got cannon bots, we've got cameras. <laughs> Guess we're in the library now. Uh, in the railway now, unexpectedly. Is that going to turn the alarm on? <laughs> That's going to turn the alarm on, okay. Not clear, it's just a sli sideways slider. I wasn't sure whether it deactivated the alarm or not. What does that do? I don't know. The enemies of the good league here. <clears throat> oh, wow. And Karis said, Let us give thanks to the builder, for he has formed my hands <coughs> and fingers, and behold, my fingers interlock like cogs on a gear. I am part of this unbeholdable machine, and therein lies my salvation. Well, you guys don't seem to have anything that I need to steal. What is that? Some kind of mechanical man thing? Hmm, like a hybrid mechanist combat bot. Well, there's an alarm switch, right? Maybe there's a light switch. Lights, good. Hang on, anything under the lift, always check. Nothing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I see it turns itself back on. Damn it, but the, the mechanist is coming back. He's just going to walk straight into me.
Respected Master Carriage, the wiring has been completed. Underground cables go above the bank's big safe, and this made our work much easier. Also, we had to bribe Bankatella, who then gave his blessing without hesitation. During the trussing, we eliminated a feeder line to the city, and instead linked it to the hangar 18 wires, thus increasing our energy twofold, which is now enough to allow us to continue. However, the increase in voltage requires better fuses, as the old ones can't withstand the potential, potential power surge. Because of this, I've unhooked the master switch on the main generator, and will try to get new fuses from Soulforge. In case it's needed, I left the sketch in the safe. We've installed the two gear locks on the safe and sent one of the gear keys to the banker as a sign of confidence, as you ordered. Getting into the safe without your gear key is impossible for him, but I can lockpick his lock at any time if necessary. Engineer Zag. Hmm. Karras will be stopped. Will he? Unfortunately, you get to sleep there. I didn't expect you to immediately run and turn on the light that I had turned off. camera that does not turn. Who's there? Who goes there? <clears throat> you know what? cameras. Seems like maybe they're controlled from this area there. Coming up here. One tiny metal footstep. Alright, fine. We'll just have a pile of bodies so the camera can't see it. That's fine. We're not going to turn the light on. Close that door. And we'll just make a run for it. Hello? Is this character's office? There's the gear we need. Plans for various inventions and stuff. The gear up there, but I think that's just decorative. I mean, if it isn't, how would we get up there? Like that. There's this bedroom, maybe? I see two beds, and this door goes out. Nothing of value in here? 
And it's fine, I suppose. It's strange, this one doesn't seem to make any reaction sounds to me. Maybe I just have to be visible to for longer or something. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not actually working properly. Ah, this is the guy who heard me heard my footsteps. Well, conveniently they've stopped getting in my way. The railway. Okay. Um, I did find an explanation for the power failures. They were talking about it there. What am I going to do out here? Do I want to go out this way or do I want to go back down? I think I want to go back down. Not expect the gravel. Tunnel documentation. BC, okay, big child of Karas. That's what it stands for, right? New generation of the Middle Age. The second part of the BC, okay, project is represented by a system of underground tunnels, which will be useful for our BC, okay, army as a runway. The system will link the city with Soulforge Citadel. There will be secret exits to the outer world for organization of our attacks. Longer tunnels will wind underground, where our machines will hunt down our foes like cunning moles. From the hangar, a lift will move the machines down into the tunnel, and they will only need to be returned for possible repairs. The bedrock is soft but stable, this makes our work much easier, and so on, and so on. The piston connected to the spiral valve. Spiral valve connected Just some plans, nothing else in this room. Safe to, to tangle with, honestly. Close. My lords, during the drilling we encountered a problem with an odd rock which is so much stronger than iron that the drill's dull and they can't break through to the surface. We've tried to solve the problem but we've already spoiled three diamond drills without any success and the ground beneath us has started to crumble into flooded underground caverns. Also there's some thought that it isn't a rock at all but a type of valuable noble metal. If so we should, should, we should conduct tests in the expectation that we can benefit from this later on. We are waiting for our geologist who will arrive in a few days. Awaiting your further instructions, master. Oh. Is that light turn on by itself? Or were the people turning it back on is the question. Maybe he's just turning it back on when he gets back there. Yeah, okay, he turned it back on. Yeah, you waste a valuable diamond drill, did you? Hmm. Well, let us swim and see where this leads. Underground cavern with large plants. Two directions to go. I should have my compass out so I don't get lost. So the other one, the other branch went south. These don't look very mechanist friendly, honestly, given the plants.
What a crystal? How many was that? I don't know. You, I think. Is there anything else down here? Is there, there, it does continue, okay. Where does this lead? Further south. Metal bucket. Signs of human habitation. It's a well. Who's well? God, he looked right at me. <sighs> Mechanists have a well? God, that's the dark, that's the bright area. Mechanist have a well, okay. Ah, oh, I see, that's, that's the courtyard I was looking at before. Well, well, well. Dust and dirt, they're terrible, terrible things. I don't know how I could have gone in here without without that. Without using a flash bomb, I mean, because the guy was staring straight at the stairs. Nine thousand six hundred. They didn't have too much money for the mechanists. They, they were it's a bit stingy of them really. Yeah, a weird. Very weird. <laughs> Shit, we do not want to be tangling with them. Be tangling, tangling with them if I can help it. I am a wretched intruder, very wretched. Please leave me alone. I'm poor and wretched. this lead to there's a gear lever over there oh, there's a ladder up as well oh. there's a ladder up and it's fake got a voice it's a fake Well, no idea what that. Oh, I have no idea what that did. Now I know what that did. That's uh, let the bodies in. Beautiful. All right. You 
know what, let's uh, have the have the mechanisms blamed for all these. I feel like there's more bodies than that. Yes, there's a lot more bodies than that. So the hammerheads and the mechanists are next door neighbours. That was not what I expected. We'll take them away from our friends, the Hammerites, and, and leave the blame on the mechanists who we do not like. Yeah, it's like nine, nine bodies or something there. Besides, the mechanists like having bodies to experiment on, right? They'll be happy with those. Do 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 do. What a beautiful moment in time. Just going down the river with my dead friends here. Oh. So that's nothing. Can I not get up here? No, it doesn't open. And that doesn't open. And there's no way out here. Alright, I guess we're swimming back. Right, so this water wheel is going to get the way out, but not really anything else. Can't I, can't I mantle that? Am I stuck here? Do I have to go out and round the mechanist, the hammerite's place again? Ah, it's a ladder, okay. <laughs> Trying to avoid making so much noise, Garrett. Alright, well, the bot that we riled up should hopefully have calmed down a little now. Right, so this is where... Have we been in here? Yes. Alright, we look out here and there was, there was a guard just standing watching. I guess he must turn around, this guy, right? He was watching both doors. I guess he must turn around at some point. Cameras, hangar 18. Hmm, I think the underground passage... Well, the underground passage we explored as far as it went, right? So is that a medium-sized child of Karras there? This, this half hammerite, half... half bot? I don't know, but I think we have to go this way. Yeah, looks like that's the way in. Wait for the bot to come and go again. The sound of it, that was the cameras. Flares, just what I need. Oh. This is the hangar. This is... Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. Guess 
we go up this ramp and find out. Weird, like, okay, I mean, I know, I know what these are now, but, uh... From having played number two before number one, otherwise I would have said, these are what, they're making UFOs! This is just like the X-Files. You know, that one episode when, uh... What's his name? Mulder sneaks into the hangar and finds the UFOs. Ah. A gear lock. Well, I have a gear. The problem is... Oh, it doesn't use it up. That's not the way gear locks work. At least not previously. Internals there. I'm not going to complain because uh, I need it for the safe. These mechanists are just as bad as the hammers. No, the hammers are... Uh doing good work for us, you know. Hello, there's a more thoroughly assembled one? I don't know, something something funky going on there. Ah. Do not use. Oops. You need a new fuse, all right. I mean, well, I found the fuse and it broke, so what does that mean? Does that mean I'm screwed? Uh, hmm. So there's the fuse in the museum, right? But uh, that broke. I thought that just let out here. Oops, well that does work. Right, that opens the connecting door. Luckily nobody's in here working on these things right now. Their, their schedule is not so uh, tight that they're uh, working on this 24-7. I don't know what the new fuse is supposed to do, though. I didn't really understand that note about the, the fuses. One thing's for sure, this Karras guy has lost his mind. Hmm. There must be instructions on this thing somewhere. The objective? Find out how this machine works, okay? Ah, oh, optional. Get the artifact and leave it in Lady Dove's bedroom. Right. Well, I got the artifact. I didn't see that turn up before. Test panel, BC, okay, engine test. <sighs> right, I guess we're gonna have to find instructions like this. BC, okay, big child of Keras, new generation of the Metal Age. Our new development combines the previous abilities of our creation with the attributes of the spider, enabling us to create a wonderful machine which can destroy everything in its path, the big child. This can be the most powerful weapon ever made, as well as a freight or ceremonial movement device at the same time. The machine will be able to destroy walls and houses, or even crush whole armies, without the need for powerful weaponry. If we use the built-in weaponry in combat, no living creature in the world will survive its attack, and so on, and so on, and so forth. To do. We have a little engine control trouble, and we still haven't been able to test the entire machine, only what can be controlled from the separate panels, including the weapons. We need a more powerful fuse which we're building into the machine, so that if there are any voltage problems which might cause an explosion, the machine will stop. At the moment, we do not have powerful enough fuses. If we start all the functions at once, there is a serious problem with voltage stability. Further developments are being considered. Currently, the spider-like movement is our primary target, which will powerfully move the machine. But it is also stable as well. If we add the built-in crushing wheel in front and the activatable weaponry on three points, nothing will stop our big child. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. You see, okay. Crusher disc test. Is he okay? Firearm test. Ah, key. Hang right, team key. All right. Uh oh. Wow. Well, despite me saying it could uh, 
crush walls, it's, uh, break walls, it's not breaking that metal wall, so um, maybe it's not as powerful as you thought it was, guys. What, does, what do we have up here? Ah, just the walkway. Does the walkway give us anything of value? Ah, well, the machine, if you recall, had fuse, as they said, right? No? Oh, a comfy chair for the operator, that's beautiful. Hmm. So this one? ETOK engine test. This is how it came in. All right, find out how this machine works. Um, isn't that the documentation? Doesn't that shouldn't that do anything? I'm a little confusing because I found an explanation for the power failures. Found out how the machine works, and yet neither of those appear to be. Uh, these mechanisms are up to it's not yeah nothing here except that monument to the gears and that'll be a way out for us potentially ah oh, that panel I didn't know what it did right at the start turns this camera off that's good for me otherwise it would have caught me just now I guess I would have heard it and not. And it would then not have caught me, but. Uh, I must admit, I'm a little confused as to what I need to do now. Because I seem to have got the stuff that. that I was looking for. <laughs> Only. I'm like, do I need to run the tests on this? Do I need to find a few so I can turn that, do the engine tests and things? How do I find a new fuse? Do you have a new fuse for me, sir? You know what? This is definitely going to be easier without any unnecessary mechanists wandering around. I have the power graph in here. Oh, did I turn the power off for almost everywhere? Oh, we're just above that. That's not helpful. Ah, oh, the hidden entrance was through here, of course. This is the underground tunnel. Should we 
got him via left. Which I guess I'm going to get back to. Anything behind here now? Oh, is this just coming around in a circle now? Well, you guys can, I guess, stay, stay awake. So there's that other guy in the courtyard there. door that I cannot open. Oh, hello. That's new to me. Railway security map. Aha! Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So we've been up through all there. This is where we've been. Oh, uh, symbol, holy symbol. Where is that courtyard then? Don't know. We'll check. around this way, right? No. Saw him just a minute ago. Take that. Ah, out here. Right, so just here. Right, just near the main, in the main gate. Is that thou, friend? Danger protected by alarm. It was surely just moss in mine eyes. <clears throat> moss in thine eyes, but it sounds like a good idea, honestly. Just turns this way. I mean, I could flash bomb him. I do have another flash bomb. Should probably have it out and ready, right? Just in case. Yeah, and he turned while I was fumbling through my inventory. Is there someone? Ah, oh, it's just the main gate. I mean, kind of nice that he's guarding the main gate, but uh, we might just be able to get out there. You really give me a lot of work to do, you guys. For Karis sake, could you hang a few less banners? I'm now afraid I might have missed some in this area. I probably did, right? Elsewhere in the mechanist uh, compound. Death to all banners. Okay. Ah, and the main gate isn't opening. Oh, there it is. Right, so I can get out easily now. And this is the door. I need a key, but I don't actually need it, right? That's um, this door here. But I can be. I've been in there.
Or just the West Gate? Main Gate. No, 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 this one. Sorry, sorry. This door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That door's locked. Can't make notes on this. Uh, okay. Um, well, we need a fuse from somewhere, and I am confused as to where. If it's the... If the only fuse is the one in the museum, I'm going to be very annoyed. Hello. I don't think I've been here. We must be here. Yeah, there's a, out a noble guard duty. Mm. balcony there that I have not explored. God, there were servants to take care of proper. This isn't standard procedure. Ah, oh, look at three banners in a row. That's going to be a mess. That's going to need moss for sure to clean that up. Just get these banners done, and then I think that'll be the end of this episode, and we'll go hunting fuses. I'm a little worried about the one in the middle. You might just hit the lamppost trying to do it. We've got to give it a good try, though. So whoever's there. Time to give yourself up. Hmm. Odd. Yeah, saw the chopped banners and got concerned. <laughs> Alright, next time next time will be our window, I think. It's not a very large window of time. In the episode here, and uh, if you're gonna make that much noise, then why don't you just come out? I'll <laughs> see you soon. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. To the next one. <laughs>